Hello, today I have this here um, Asus Chromebook. It's the C536E uh, model. Um, this is like your higher end model of Chromebooks, which you don't have to do much to be high end on Chromebooks because uh, it still just has an i3 processor, but it's better than your Celeron or Pentium or any of the others that they have for Chromebooks. Um, so this thing is used. Um, I got it in a trade type thing. So I'm just showing you kind of the features of it and what I think about this. So of course this is the white one. Um, the thing that I don't care for already is these corners here. You can see kind of there where they dig down in. They're sharp. Um, the rubber part that hits the uh, desk. Um, so if you've got any padding or something, it's going to leave some marks like it did here uh, on your desk. So um, in general, this is heavy, really heavy compared to a normal Chromebook. But you do have to understand this is more durable than a lot of Chromebooks. These are solid more metal hinges like this is meant to fold clear back into tablet mode. Um, when you do open it, it will turn on automatically like most Chrome books do. And as you see, black keyboard, uh, really nice looking computer here. Touch screen and screen folds clear back. I'm going to shut it off here but it's a very nice picture. Um, full keyboard. You see the numpad on the side there. So that's nice too, which a lot don't have. Sound by Harman Kardon. So good sound system. This is the 11th Gen i3 processor inside of it. Um, 8 gigs of memory and it has a, a 128 gigabyte solid state drive, which that's all plenty for a Chromebook. Um, so I think it's more than you need, but some people would argue that. But you're mostly buying a Chromebook to browse the web and do your web stuff and not save a whole lot to it um, because you're going to save it to your Google account. So, yeah, I don't know why you really need a whole lot more than this for a Chromebook. Um, I'll show you here. It folds clear back like this, like most of the HPs do with these hinges. Um, again, it's pretty heavy. So when it's like this, you do have controls on the side here. You've got your power button on the side for this mode and volume switch right there. One USB-A port and then two USB-C's, one here, the headphone port, the other USB-C port is over here with an HDMI port. And this here, that is a micro, yes, micro SD card slot. I couldn't tell if that was a SIM card type slot, but no, that's a micro SD card slot. Very nice computer. I mean, the, the only thing I would complain about it is the heaviness. It's, it's going to be hard to be portable and stuff with this. Um, but solid, solid built. And as you see, this has been used for a while. It does have some markings on it. Not bad. There's a bad scratch right here. So... That's the problem with white. It's going to show up any uh, imperfections. But uh, nice looking computer. I mean, really nice looking computer. So if you don't care about how portable it is and you're going to mostly use it on a desk or something, I definitely do one of these. Um, is it more than you need for a Chromebook? Yes. Yeah, I, I think it is. I mean... Most of the basic stuff, a Celeron processor or whatever, would be fine. But um, this is a good one. I I think you're going to notice this maybe lasts a little longer, um, just being more durable and everything. 
Um, the only thing is it does have a glossy screen. Of course, it's touch screen, but the glossy screen might bother some people. A lot of Chromebooks have the matte anti-glare screen, which is nice, you know, and stuff. But if you like it, this is perfect for you. You know, HP makes their um, X360 models that are just like this pretty much. So I think, if I remember right, they are a little bit lighter weight, the HP ones. Than this one is. Um, this is, I think, a little bigger screen though, because the HP ones were, I believe, 13 or 14 inch. This is a 15.6, I believe, on screen size. So it's a bigger laptop and it's got that full uh, numpad, full keyboard, you know, that 10 key. So that's nice if you're going to be messing with numbers much and stuff. So yeah, overall, it's a great one. Um, just weight is the only thing, really. Weight and how it sits with the hinges and stuff. It's kind of a sharp little pad right here on the corner that can dig into your desk material. Um, as you see, it's just a small little bump of rubber there, hard rubber. And it kind of just digs right in. So, yeah, just be careful with that. Where you put it. I also just want to show you a close-up of the bottom tag here. So that, that's all the model information. Um, it does require a 45 watt USB-C, at least 45 watt charger. So if you buy one of these, make sure you use at least a 45 watt charger with it. So yep, that's the information. Manufactured March of 2021, this one was. 12 month warranty for the factor warranty. So, if you're looking for a Chromebook, I would definitely check this out. Asus is a good brand. Check it out. Just the weight thing, you know, compare it. If you don't need the 10 key stuff, I would probably go with the HP X360 versions of this with the they still have the i3 processor on the higher end one, the, the more base X360 has your seller on uh, processor. So yeah, you get some more options there too. So, all right, thanks for watching you guys. Um, this will be for sale on my eBay store for a little while. I don't think it will last long just because this is a popular model and everything, but uh, I'm gonna put it up there soon. I will post a link to that uh, listing on the comments in this video and if it's still available you can have your chance of buying it um uh that's that's about all i need to tell you guys thanks for watching like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel for more of these